Oh, there's no game. Make the game happen. The game happen. There we go. That's what I wanted. Welcome, everyone, to Handle Ember Live. It is the Tuesday Spirit Island stream. Also Sentinels. Also One Deck Dungeon. Also Eon's End. Uh, yeah. I am John. I make games. And I'm going to show you some new stuff. We are going to be doing Second Wave tonight. We talked about it on Saturday, but we didn't play it because we had already taken a long game. Uh, and I'm going to see how many waves I can get through. And you can all predict what you think will happen, but only one at a time because Twitch doesn't let you do more than one. It's just uh, two things in each prediction. Uh, Handlubber Games believes in civil rights for everyone and being as inclusive as possible, including Black Lives Matter and trans rights. Anyone actively working against these goals is not welcome and will not be tolerated. Uh, how, glows go how goes Gloom Beaver? Asks Sparky Wolf. I don't know. I hope someone's making it. Uh, yeah, so... We're going to show some more Branch and Claw content. It is the last scenario called Second Wave that uh, wherein you play multiple games uh, through, through a sort of a campaign mode, as it were. Uh, so I'm going to do one spirit so things are relatively quick. The chat's almost expiring. Get your predictions in. I'm going to do, I'm going to just do full random each time. So any complexity and it'll be a random adversary. So it's England. We'll start at base level. You can't. You notice you can't pick second wave here uh, because second wave comes in um, at the end. And I have some sake to finish up uh, from Hakutusuru. So I'm gonna have that. Let's press go. We have river, by the way. Second wave is always an option now. Yes, if you have branch and claw, you can always choose to play second wave at the end of a game. Um, yeah, that's kind of how it works. Uh, so I don't think I need land numbers. Ultra graphics. Yeah, so you can have anything in the first game. It can be adversary, scenario, whatever you like. And then if you go to second wave, uh, it'll preserve the adversary, but it uh, won't be the same. Like, it'll be second wave scenario instead of the first scenario. So you can start off with some other scenario, though. Uh, it is cold, but most generally I go room, room temperature. Uh, it's sake, S-A-K-E. I mean, that's the English translation. Sake, I think, is better pronounced. This is a nice dry sake. It's, I enjoy it. And it's not too expensive. Uh, it's like 12 bucks. This one's from Japan. Hakutsu, ha, Hakutsurusake.com uh, Okay, England. So we just play a normal game, really, at first. Uh, England base, so there's only the escalation not even indentured servants uh we just got to try to stop them from winning and we're all the way over here in the corner wow wow river why you got to be so far away but we can uh, we can get up to the big the big river drink a labra <laughs> let's go with wash away and river's bounty get some Dahan growth happening and stop them from building in the back corners. I mean, I'm not stopping them building, but I can't even reach that guy. That's unfortunate. All right. So... I think I'll send, I'll leave this one guy here. Since there's Blight here, I'm gonna get rid of both of these guys. 
I guess they can all go into this wetland. Well, I'd rather... This wetland kind of is annoying because of everything. And they're going to ravage here. Honestly, not a great situation here, is it? Um, like, if I want to stop visibility to the back, I don't want buildings in this wetland. But there's a building there already, so they can all go play there. And River's Bounty will bring some Dahan in here. I think just one is fine. And yeah, so we should be okay unless the event gets us for the Ravage. Uh, flash Floods, we can stop this build and we have a disease there. So let's go double presence. And let's make the river go like down through this way, maybe. They don't have to have presence there, but it's kind of nice. Uh, let, and we need to have enough energy to play all our cards. A classic opening. Plugged in your laptop cord and it sparked a little. That's not good. You don't want sparks. Uh, so we don't have any moon, so automatically went to invasive species bloom. We get to add blight to a land with uh, towns slash cities. Well, that's annoying. Uh, so we are losing a presence from that, no matter what. I guess it can be this one. They're not doing anything in the sands right now. Uh, add disease to a land with both Dahan and invaders. Do two damage to Dahan there. Why are you killing all my Dahan? I think if they're not going to build, I would rather be... Maybe here. And then it goes back. Yeah. At least... I mean, it did add Blight to the island, didn't it? So, And then they're exploring here, so... So we have the two damage from massive flooding. We could actually stop everything here, which is kind of nice. And hope to get a defend card for this, probably. I think that's probably what we want to do. I don't really want to put them into this mountain, but I don't want to make... I want to have a chance for that spot, right? I guess if we like just load it up with Dahan, they'll like they'll a bunch of them will die, but they'll still like kill everything. Uh, I mean that's still gonna happen here because I'm gonna like if there's right now. I think if I put one Dahan here, then five Dahan, two of them will die, and the rest will destroy the rest. I mean four would have been enough, but. Yeah, so that does destroy everything. But if we get a defend card, it's even better, right? So let's reclaim and see what we get. Hey, defend five. That, and it even has water on it. That's nice. Also, growth or sacrifice would be nice, but this is pretty good. That seems pretty okay. And we could even flash floods this guy and stop a build. It seems good. And if we play that, we get the second level and eight. Let's just finally get rid of one of these towns in the interior. Would be nice. So yeah, make more Dahan. I mean, River's Bounty is basically just as good as Buna Vigor because it's one energy and also does more useful things, so. Your strength is sapped. Your floods are flashed. In each land with at least two explorers. Are there lands? There is a land with two explorers. 
push one to an adjacent land without invaders. Okay. Then we're going to have this beast is going to move and deal a damage so we can actually send the explorer here to get eaten by the beast, I guess. Because these guys are all dead. From the ravage. 10 defense. Hello, Seamus. Welcome to the party, pal. They explore the wetlands. They would like to build a city. Well, we could use up the disease and they don't build. Let's do that. So now we can let the Dahan take care of these guys by bringing some Dahan friends. The Ravage will take care of him. The Ravage, I mean, pending the event, but like I'm fine to sort of let that happen um, in those lands. There's no potential cascade or anything. And we can clean up this town. We got a fear card. How novel. It's not River's, River's Gem. Uh, and yeah, we have a Reclaim 1. But we also have the... Uh, we can get to four card plays, right? So we could do this next. Gain another power card and reclaim something and play four. So let's do that. Call of the Dahan Ways, you say. That seems fun. I'm not getting much sunshine. Well, I can still get to level two. I'm not going to be able to get to level three with any of these cards, so... I'll do that, we'll get to level two easily. And we'll place a presence. I don't know. Range one with Dahan. Right now that's gonna be nowhere, but we can put it somewhere we can get Dahan. And we can afford to flash flood if we want. Let's just take River's Bounty though, make more Dahan. Let's make so much Dahan. Lou Dolphin wants to call the Dahan. Their number is 8675309. Each <clears throat> city does plus two damage. Okay. Uh, add disease, ignore disease during builds. Sure. Uh, how about back here? And extra fear. And a fear card. Nothing. Good luck building in the wetlands, friends. They do explore the sands and they auto build. I guess I should have put disease here because of escalation. That would have been smart. That would have been smart. I'm not smart though. Uh, well, we can replace him with a Dahan. And we can wash away him just into here. And at least take out the town. Now I have to deal with the city, which is annoying. It's not going to be a build. Seems like a good time to take a major power to blow up that city. Fire and flood, can't quite afford it. Or will I? I will be able to afford it, won't I? Because I get the plus one energy. Or I could, uh, there's no, it's only a land without blight. I don't have blight removal. So I think it's fire and flood. And 
And we're going to forget something we're not going to be able to play anyways. I mean, set, set the strength is free, so I'm going to play it, <laughs> basically. I think we just win, assuming nothing ridiculous happens here. With Fire and Flood, we can do 7 damage in one land and 4 in another. I guess we don't just win because we have to clear the land of invaders entirely, but I don't want this city to be here. Uh, Boon of Vigor. Sap the strength. Sure. Hey, we can forget a moon card for this. Uh, yeah, we don't want this to cause a cascade here, right? Uh, forget moon for four. Done. All those things happened. Four plus four equals seven. I didn't say that. Did I say that? There's four and seven. We might get to the next tier level by like blowing up that city. Uh, yeah. They didn't, oh they, I was like, why didn't they explore there? Cause the fear card said that, right? Skip the lowest numbered land. Nice. So we can we can actually clear the land of invaders with this, and let's just make it to Han friend because why not? And this choose the originating land. Bye, invaders. Yeah, seven in one and four in the other. That's how threshold works. All right, easy peasy, mac and cheesy. Time for second wave. So this graphics is temporary. Uh, so we can view the scenario card here now and here's what's going to happen. So we're going to set aside uh, on power card, but one power card uh, to assist with the next game. We remove all uh, presence and invaders on the island, leave some tokens, two blight per player, all Dahan leave, except then a bunch of different things happen with Dahan basically to reduce it so you don't have too many and they're spread out. Uh, we're going to be increasing adversary level because the blight card's on the healthy side. Pre-print invaders will start closer to the coast. There's extra towns. Excuse me. Um, then uh, once the game starts, uh, you can use that extra power card once for free in stage three. So... You can guess what one I'm going to pick. Uh, and then we can play further waves and we'll see how far we get. So I'm going to keep Fire and Flood because playing that for free is pretty awesome. Also, you get the thresholds for free. So as long as they're below 10 elements. So we can only keep one beast. So I'm going to keep the more inland one. And we need to, this is the Dahan part. So in each land with three Dahan or more, push one to adjacent lands until there are two or fewer. Then on each board that have not enough, you add. On each board that have too many, you remove. So I think we're going to have to remove one Dahan. But we can spread them out a little bit. Oh, yeah. All right, we'll choose the outcome. I won wave one. And now, will I win wave two? I will set it to one minute. 
because I'm gonna go through this. So take your bets. Take your bets. Thank you for reminding me. I have to remove two Dahan. I'm gonna just remove like them so that they're like kind of spread out over the whole island. All right, we have Serpent. And uh, it is now England level one. I'm just gonna go with whatever the random says, so. Place your bets, place your bets. They explore the wetlands. All right, so Fire and Flood is here um, to remind you that you have it, and it shows that it came from River because it can matter what spirit it came from because their special rules still apply, which is pretty complicated. But like, it mostly affects things like Bringer of Dreams and Nightmares. If you saved a power from Bringer, then the damage is, you know, Nightmare damage instead, and it shows that we've got the thresholds. Uh, okay, time for Serpent to Serp. They are going wetlands, and we have cleverly put Dahan in all the places. This is the extra town here, I think, or here, one of those two places. Uh, we can see what land numbers are by hovering. Yeah, Mountain 5 has an extra town. And then the adversary might do extra things, but I don't think. They will at level 2. They add extra city and extra town, so England gets pretty rough with extra buildings. Take Walker, missed it out. Well, so be it. You'll have to be quick on the ball next time. All right, we're going to gain a power card and add presence probably here. Usually I like to absorb on the first turn and then have a bigger second turn with like flowing power and Aegis and whatever other card I got. So let's do that. <clears throat> Ooh, reaching Grasp. Removing Blight is also nice for Serpent. Adding Dahan is nice. Gold's Allure is Gold's Allure. Destroying three towns is also really good. Uh, what do we need for elements? Everything. Most things, not sunshine. It says fire and earth, which is nice. It's Brian versus Sparky Wolf this time. I mean, reaching grasp is kind of nice in bigger games, but it's kind of useless here because Serpent's gonna have presence on literally everything very soon. Um, I might take time and tide for the blight removal. Actually, I mean, target land mountain. I could gather the things they build and add strife. Yeah, I don't know. Drought adds blight. I think I'm going to take cycles of time and tide. I'm not super excited about it anyway. Uh, we'll add presence to this land so we can pop our defend there, I think, and a city there for us to chip away at. Uh, we need to go to card play track. So yeah, absorb essence. Actually, I like the absorb essence turn two, don't I? Because I'm just think of what I, what do I like? Because you get the element also. So you can actually have a really big element turn on the second turn. So do I want do I want to play Time and Tide this turn? Or would I, would I actually play like Gold's Allure? I mean, I could actually play it, but I'm not really concerned about what they're doing here because they have there's Dahan to wipe them out. I guess I could just play Time and Tide and add a Dahan. I could also play Gift of Promoter of Deeps, but let's add Dahan. Turn one, there's not much happening, basically, is the situation. Uh, and do I want to clean out one of these places? Probably. Probably. L 
the jungle. All right, turn two. Uh, we're going to gain a power card and gain an energy, get to two card plays. So we end up with three energy, which we can play um, Flowing Power and save Zorb Essence, and then we use Flowing Power to play Aegis. So we get these three card plays in one turn, which is nice, and a bonus element. So, uh, and maybe we gain a card that we like better, but probably not. A card with plant on it, you say. Inflame the fires is really good elements for me. That blight removal might be handy, but that seems really good. Uh, so let's get to two card plays and put presents probably here where they're going to build. Or just take out the town once it pops up. And we'll play any, as long as we play Flowing Power and something else. We can play Aegis. And now, uh, we didn't get our plant, but we could gain a plant if we want. We could also gain an earth and destroy the city. Uh, so we have options there, which is kind of nice. Uh, I guess I have to decide now because it's with absorb. I think so, right? You have to choose that now. Uh, I have to absorb a presence. Uh, That one's, yeah, actually, it might be this one. Because <clears throat> this one's good for defending these, and I need this one for defending those. And this one's on Blight. It's hard to replace. Uh, I do have to pick. So I'm actually going to pick Destroy the City. Seems, seems worthwhile. And I can also push away the town that they built, so... And we'll do Aegis here to defend both of those, and hopefully they don't ruin everything with an event. Plus one health. Well, it's not ruined. We got beasts generating fear, and we get to add one Dahan to an inland land with Dahan. Uh, yeah, how about in this jungle here, I guess. And their Ravage is unsuccessful. They explore the mountains, but not this mountain. Haha. -ha. Because, and they're not even adjacent to any things. So, I like that. So here we can actually Get rid of that. And push this town away. Uh, probably here to the corner. And now this guy is just going to ravage to no effect, hopefully. Uh, such energy. I don't know how I got so much energy. Oh, from Absorb Essence. So, we have Gift and Inflame. We can play both of those. We can also look to maybe get a different Defend card for this. I could Reclaim to definitely Defend, but if that Blights, it's okay. We also have, a, and we have two chances to get a Defend there, basically, so... Let's take our chances. I'll still go minor. I like having a bunch of minors, and then I can just take bunches of majors, too. Uh, well, can use a slow, as if it were fast, so I could add a strife to that town. That's one way to do it. They do build a city here, sort of no matter what we do. 
unless we have something to like I guess I could I could add disease here instead uh, and, and allow them to do what they're doing here that might be better honestly Or actually, no, I think they still build even if I kill everything because of England. If I use this fast, it would kill everything. I still want them to build a city. That's kind of the thing. Not that it's the end of the world if they build a city. It's just more annoying. I could strife the city. What I could let them build the city and strife it. And... I guess I can't use this fast. I can do one over the other. Yeah. You're right, Lude. Uh, as always, Lou Dolphin is correct. Uh, destroy an explorer. Not exciting. I do kind of pack to the joint hunt. I have a lot of Dahan on the board. They could actually kill the city straight up and I like having plant the other elements don't really do much I'll take back to the joint hunt and I think I'm just going to let this blight at the Dahan still kill the town and And then basically I send the Dahan in to beat up the city here and add strife or maybe I take this to get another power card. Uh, so let's add presence to a land without blight. What do I want? Probably fire. Fire gets me some damage that I might not have, whereas water doesn't get me... Water might get me an energy, basically. So I have to get towards the any and the reclaim one. Well, let's put presents where they have buildings that we can eat. And yeah, I like, I mean, and flame is nice because the elements are really good. It just sort of cranks up those. Uh, we can definitely kill a town, but like these Dahan can kill a city for us. So that seems real good. And maybe we get something else. We could, I guess we could just play these two instead of gift, but I do like getting more power cards. Seamus is taking control of the mess. <laughs> if I do this, what would I do with it? Add strife to the town or add disease? Oh, I need a sacred site for that anyways. I, I didn't make a sacred site, so let's not play that. Why did I even pick this card that requires a sacred site? Well, defend five. I don't have presence there, though. If target spirit has a sacred site, defend four there. That doesn't work either. I guess I should have had a sacred site or put presence there. I mean, if this had come up first, I would have put presence there. This is helpful for this land next turn. Because I can play that and inflame the fires next turn. Mountain is super kill. Oh, that's true. Call the bloodshed. I can just kill everything in there, can't I? That is a true fact. In the single land with the most invaders, push. Push them away. Okay, I guess 
Well, actually, yeah, we could... We already have a plan to kill all these guys, so instead we can choose this land and make them leave. Oh, I have to put them in separate places. You can't wait for more DLC. Well, it is in the works. I guess actually I have to leave I have to push that guy, right? Yeah. Uh we got a we got two fear cards somehow. I don't know what's happening. Uh push two Dahan from a land with blight. But we can choose this land. Because I I want these Dahan to be here. So this Dahan Stay nearby. A fear card. Defend one in all lands. Okay. Remove where they're the only invader. Well, this guy's dead. Uh, I guess it's this guy. Bye. Build your city. Let's see what happens to it. Yeah, build, build in this mountain, right? I'm doing... Uh, gather up to three. And then damage... Like, I'm doing six damage in there or is it what's more damage it's six damage either way <laughs> i guess so it doesn't matter what order i do them in and then i have an extra one so yeah build in the mountain see if i care i will destroy everything but the explorer Probably should have pushed the Dahan into the mountain. I, You mean into the back mountain? The event required it to go into a land without blight. So it was not an option. Or I would have definitely put it there. Uh, yeah. Let's gather up to three. One, two. And we get to gather one more. And then rouse in anger. And there's another fear card. All right. So we have inflamed the fires and we don't have any other cards. So we could reclaim, or we could grab a major power. We get an any element, which is pretty handy. We might find a major that works with our elements. We have lots of cards. I think we take a major at this time. The land thrashes in furious pain. Very nice elements. Don't think I get the threshold. Any amount of energy, finally. Remove two invaders. Love to see that. Twisted Flowers is really good. Um, I'm not gonna have enough, I'm gonna have exactly five energy unless I take this, but I'd love to place presents instead. So that's a really good card, but it might be Expensive. Poisoned land kills my Dahan friends and adds blight. I'm not super enthused about that. Uh, land thrashes is pretty decent, but there's not actually a lot of blight in the lands that I want to hit hit with it. I mean, only playing this seems fine. I could also gain energy and play that and inflame and then basically strife both of those towns. Well, remove two invaders, so just remove them. <laughs> basically. 
Yeah, I know I need a sacred site. I need a sacred site for both of my cards, so I will definitely be making a sacred site. Uh, there's also sea monsters, which is fun. Uh, add beasts to fear for beast. Three damage per, per beast, one damage per blight. I like twisted flowers better right here, though. And let's forget time and tide. I was talking about taking energy. That's true. So I, I do have to. I mean, I don't. I could reclaim and move a presence uh, to make a sacred site. That's one way to do it. And then play something that costs zero, which I don't have. So I guess it's. We're just playing Twisted Flowers. And we'll make a sacred site here in the middle of party time. That's fine. It's a great card. Move one town, one or two lands inland. Well, I don't want to be there unless I get a bonus defend. Oh, defend one per Dahan in the land. Yeah, okay. Choose a land with disease. That's only here, and that won't do anything. So yeah. Uh, we can move this town one land inland. Or two. It's this town move that moves inland. Invaders do not ravage. I want them to ravage. They don't ravage in this wetland. How about that? And they explore the sands, and they escalated there. So honestly, Twisted Flowers just clears that out, which is nice. Well, not clears, but I can... Strafe a town, remove the other buildings. And then I can just defend these next turn. Uh, I can... Oh, I have an any that I forgot to take. Which doesn't get me anything. I guess it gets me the push a town part. So I can generate fear and push this town somewhere where they're going to ravage, I guess. Because he's got strength. That seems good. And we can pop our defend, uh, our Aegis, because I think it's time to reclaim. Probably. I have reclaim one, though, actually. Reclaim one. Gets me the Aegis, and the defend I need is not very big. So maybe we just do that. Do we need energy? Not for, we just, if we take this, we get the plus one energy. That's enough energy. Recaim lets, lets us have a bigger turn because we can like play more cards because of our cards, but. I'm okay not doing that. Let's gain another option that we might like more than inflame the fires that might actually prevent this build. Like that, but there's no Dahan there. I guess entrancing apparitions does it. Gather up to two explorers and they won't build here because there's only one town next to it. Just our handy dandy Spirit Foresight would tell us that once there's no one there. <laughs> Actually, we could gather this guy too, but they're still going to build. Um, add presence. Uh, we want our Reclaim 1. Enjoy Sparky Wolf. Where would I like? 
going to put it here. And if he ends up, I end up losing that presence, it's like, oh, well, that's fine. I'm, I'm serpent. I want presence to get destroyed. Two of the three towns will die to Dahan pending event. Yeah, right, with the defend, yeah. Because we're going to Aegis to defend both lands for the price of one. And we can gather. I mean, this just makes the defend here a little easier. Or actually, I, with my any, I can just destroy the town there and the ravage is nothing. Years of little rain. We can let the land wither. Discard top minor power, potentially adding blight to his sands. Give minus one health to buildings, which is kind of nice. But we can also add presence. Beasts deal damage. Defend one per Dahan. Yeah, ease the drought. That's fine. We can just discard. Uh, why do we have the option to discard? We should not. Is that because it thinks fire and flood could be discarded? That's a, that's a boog. I'm going to report it. Event gave me a discard option, but I have no water cards in hand. It probably is looking at the set aside card. Uh, you can't discard it. No, that is not a card that is really, that is yours. It's set aside. But we just show it in your hand area because it's a convenient place on the screen. So you always see that you have it for later. We had other options, like, but there's just not a good place in the screen to have, like, four cards sitting around, right? Like, and you want to know that you have them for later. So the hand is, like, a really good spot. And when I say there's nowhere on the screen, you're like, yeah, there's so much room on the screen. Not when you have four spirits. Uh, so we need to forget a card with water on it uh, to pay for this. I mean, entrancing apparitions. We were going to get, no, we weren't actually getting damage from that. Just forget entrancing apparitions. Don't super need it. Um, we don't need it this turn for doing damage. So, or either for getting, if we decide to get energy instead, I guess it would give us the fear from that if we take an earth. So there's some value to it, but versus for getting like flowing power or absorb essence. Nah, let's add presence and we get water back anyway. Oh no, crisis. Uh, let's make a sacred site here. Uh, yeah, I guess it has to, oh wait, I could put it, I could put it where there's the blight and that's harder for me. Go back. Uh, I guess I have to go all the way back. Yeah, there's been a lot of interesting things with the UI uh, with Spirit Island. There's a lot going on. <laughs> a fear card. They destroy their friends. Oh, there's actually no, there's no town left there. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kill everyone. Oh, they built an extra city. Dang it. <laughs> if they explored coastal, this would be game over. Uh. So I can destroy this town. I guess that's it. We have a city hanging out again, causing us trouble. And if we get rid of this guy, they don't actually build. Are we reclaiming or are we still going with <laughs> reclaim one?
if they don't have a if they they aren't gonna explore sands but they might explore jungle if they explore jungle there's no building here that's pretty good yeah they're dang city building I guess we could get four energy and go for a fast major to kill the city again. They already explored, oh yeah, jungle sands mountains. So it's coastal or wetland. So definitely those wetlands are getting, getting something. Yeah, I mean, let's, why not just go for a fast major and maybe we get something, right? Pillar of living flame. I mean, that'll do it. We don't have tokens to remove in that land. Do you have any fast token adding? I don't think so. Yeah, Pent Up Calamity is lovely. It's a really great card too, just in what it does. Um, I mean, we could just do this and blow up the city. It does add blight, oh no. It does, adding Blight does matter because uh, I guess it doesn't matter. It ends up going back to the card at the end of the game in second wave, doesn't it? Like, leave two Blight per player. Yeah, I guess if you have less Blight on the island, that's better. But we get to remove the Blight. So... I mean, that just does it. We don't have any other good way to take it. The city. I mean, we could do it with elements. But this definitely does it. So. I mean, not definitely. Because they also escalate. But if they escalate, they build a town. And we blow up the town and the city, hopefully, right? Uh, we need to gain energy to play this. And reclaim a card that we can't afford. I guess. Oh, we can't afford. We can afford. So we could take flowing power and play both of those. That seems fine. Gives us more. More to do. Plus one health. Just to screw, us or screw with us. <laughs> oh, and the beast killed the explorer so they won't build. I thought that might happen. Add to Han. Defend six in coastal lands. Thank you. No Ravage, no build. Explore wetlands. So they do build a town, which is annoying. Um, oh, but I have four fire, so I do plus five damage. <laughs> oh, that'll do. Uh, so we can add more tokens with this. Uh, oh, wait, we, we can add disease, but if we're going to add disease, I'd rather have it be on the... Maybe I'd rather have it be inland. I can demonstrate. Because we only get to keep one per player. If we had a wilds, that would be nice. Oh, gain an energy. Nuke them from orbit. Exactly. By England one. All right, we wait. Wave two. For sure. And now we'll start a new prediction with two minutes, so you have a better chance. Will I win wave three? Start your predictions. In wave three, there are going to be more towns. Uh, 
third wave. So we keep a card. Uh, so the thing to note is we keep three on three blight in the board. So actually adding that blight was probably not great, but I did it anyway. So oh well. Um, closer to coast shift is reduced. Um, the and there's extra towns in land four and five. So we get to keep a card. I never played my bonus card because we never got to stage three. Uh, let's keep Twisted Flowers. Removing two invaders is really nice. We can only keep one disease. I'm going to keep... Uh, maybe the keeping the coast one is probably pretty good, right? Because of the close to coast shift. Let's push some to Han. Deeper into the island, maybe. Just spread them out, really. And then I have too many. I have to remove three. Okay. One. Two. Three. All right, we have Thunder Speaker. Nice. And England is going to add a city and a town, so... Here we go. Prediction is locked. So more bonus towns. Uh, we get to add presents to each, one each in uh, each of the two lands with the most Dahan, and there's like a huge tie. Uh, Maybe here where there's lots of buildings. Explore in the mountains. Take Walker is in on it. Nice. So now we see that this came from Snake. Snake did a good job, except for that extra blight, which maybe was a bad idea. But you know what? Sometimes you just do what you got to do. Uh, all right. So they're going to... Actually, they aren't building here if we sudden ambush. So sudden ambush is not a bad idea. And So we can we sudden ambush and manifest to just, like, do a really good turn one blast. Add more Dahan here. We get to move. Gather two Dahan in here, which includes presence. So we get to do a big smackdown with manifestations. Yeah, we're going to get to have three Dahan and three presence for nine damage, up to nine damage. Brian the Wolf Hunt, are you allowed to answer? What is the sun with an eye symbol on the right? Yeah, you can answer. Uh, we've been previewing it. It is the spirit foresight feature that lets you see what's going to happen. So we can see that next turn, uh, or this turn, they're going to build in two lands, a town and a city right now, unless anything changes. Um, and with little icons as well. Uh, so you can see the city's here and the town is here. You can click on lands too to get exactly like what's inside the land, if it's crowded. Um, and then you can actually click on stuff in here too. If like, it's like dealing damage, you can like bring this up and click on stuff or push it, push an invader. And you can hover over lands to like see a little preview, of, like a mini preview as well. So yeah. And this Ravage will tell you when there's cascades and stuff too. Uh, cool, so let's do this. We will ambush. I think I can take this guy. I'd like to leave the Dahan there. I know it's um, it's dangerous to leave Dahan with disease, though, right? Because of events. Let's bring this guy. There's not an event this turn or anything, but... Thanks, High Electrical. Yeah, it's something, it's something that we've been, like, thinking about for a long time. And we, you know... 
weren't able to get it into the first version, but I think it's more important with Branch and Claw because there's all these other tokens that are doing extra things. Uh, so it'll like it'll factor in like if there's disease or strife or event card effects and stuff active like in the slow phase and stuff. So it can't obviously predict things that it doesn't know about happening, but it'll do its best. All right, we're going to gather two. Make the stack. So here, and we we want the nine damage because there's eight health of invaders here. That's pretty good. Start for Thunderspeaker. We got a fear card from that. Fear card and a quarter. Then, of course, we get to the awkward part where we don't have to use words of warning next turn. <laughs> and it's like, well, what are we doing then? But we already made our choices, didn't we? We could reclaim and gain power cards. It's kind of a weird choice. We would have to, we can't get, we're not close enough to sudden ambush there and they build anyway. We could just use this turn to move Dahan around though. Like, right, add, add lots of presents, play this for the elements. It's still worthwhile, but getting either up to more energy or more card plays is nice. Getting up to two card plays is kind of tempting. Only one energy per turn, so we wouldn't be able to play. I mean, because we, cause we reclaimed, that means that next turn we definitely couldn't play expensive cards, but we can't play expensive cards next turn. Anyways, that's just how Thunderspeaker works. It relies on us getting cheap cards. But we can always play Words of Warning and Voice of Thunder. And then if either of those two card gains are zero cost from this, then we can play them. So I think let's go card plays. I feel good about it. Oh, actually, yeah. No, I was thinking I could play the other card, but I can't because I can't. So I'm going to Words of Warning here just in case I can like push an invader there with the fear card for the Ravage or something. Um, and we actually don't have fire, so we're not going to be able to get Furious Assault. That would be nice. But we basically set up Dahan where we want them to be for next turn. I think. So I don't know if we make, I don't know if I think we make a stack. I think we just spread out a little bit into the places where they might come next turn. Sands, I mean, sands are jungle. So we'll just go sands, we'll, we'll double down. And we'll play these two. So yeah, not the most efficient elements, but I think that was a good like turn one smackdown. I think that was worth it. We'll find out, I guess. Add one explorer to a land without. There was no land without. Okay. None of those things did anything. Can use a slow power now instead of later. Well, I don't want to. Unless I want to get Two fear, but two fear wouldn't get me. If it got me into the fear card, then maybe I would think about it. But I think moving the Dahan might be better. We'll see where they end up. Warning. Add strife. Uh, yeah, we could strife this city, and then we don't even need to do anything there. Just put 
Dahan there. And we can defend that land. Perfect. There's no escalation this turn. Next turn. And it is the Sands. So Voice of Thunder, send our Dahan to where they need to be. Two here. We'll clean that up. Let's get more here. More here. Uh, yeah, I want to come with, generally. And gather the warriors. We can bring some more Dahan into here. Maybe I'll gather this. We only need. don't actually need more than two there. Not even more than one, really, but. Alright, reclaim time. Time to look for free powers, because we're playing Words of Warning. Uh, well, Savage Mob Beasts. Elements are okay. We're going to have Sacred Sites. We're going to have Animals. I'll take it. Steam Vents is nice, because that does block a build there, but I don't have the energy. I need to, like, I mean... Yeah, I don't have the energy. I'm going to play Words of Warning, so. Drift down into slumber for next turn. Enticing Splendor, though, does stop a build there. And also gathers Dahan and has some good elements for me. That seems good. So Words of Warning, Splendor. I guess then we have the choice of Maw Beasts. Which does have fire. Yeah, have fire. It's a town destroy. So words of warning in here. Uh, enticing splendor. I don't want to bring him in here because there's one damage already. Um, oh, it's range zero though. It doesn't work. Actually, enticing, sp enticing splendor here. Bring the town. Words of warning here. But that doesn't stop. It doesn't stop this. It doesn't really change anything, does it? it? Just means the town doesn't get killed. That's not helpful. What were the other options besides enticing splendor? Drift down into slumber. Defend one. Yeah. I guess it's like I should play Voice of Thunder instead of Enticing Splendor because I don't have a good place for Enticing Splendor. I don't have presence in the right spot this turn. So they are just going to they're going to build. All right, new species. We can let this let them bloom for potential blight and come back, or we can transmute the worst. Uh, why does it think we can pay for transmute the worst? Because of this. Like we can't. We have no moon at all and no energy. If I click it, yeah. I think that's related, but it's slightly different. Event thinks I can pay for transmute the worst. I have no moon cards at all and zero energy. <laughs> Ooh. 
We can't do that, Jim. Still got some sake going. Call to tend. Yeah, maybe. We are in wave three right now, higher electrical though. So maybe for wave four. We have to let the species bloom. It was slow, no blight. Uh, add disease to a land with both Dahan and invaders. Do two damage to Dahan there. Rude. And we get free energy though. Uh, definitely not these lands because we want them to kill them there. I do not lose, well, I guess it's this one. Actually, yeah, block the build. Oh, we could block the city though. But actually blocking the town means they wouldn't explore here if they explore mountains, so we'll do that. Except it's coastal lands. Can you not forget Twisted Flowers to pay the four moon? No, you cannot forget cards that don't belong to you. That is a card that belongs to Serpent, who is not in the game, but it is their card. All right. So that Ravage is mostly taken care of. This is bad. We have Savage Mob Beasts for one damage, which actually potentially stops a build in a place that might not build, like here. Here might not build if we destroy a town here. So we just let this blight. I think I think we just let that blight. So we want to gather to Dahan. And no push. Only gather. Lead the Furious. One damage, so they won't build here now. Um, and we can probably just get fear from this. Because if we want to manifest here, we'll probably do manifestation here next turn. But I can just get enough to Han there and put like presence there like I don't I think I can just get the fear from this instead and get a new fear card and a new terror level maybe no not a new terror level yet oh yeah I need to do this I get reclaim one which is nice or an air I take the air I could go fast with my powers or I would reclaim voice of thunder or mob beasts Reclaim one means I probably don't need to reclaim next turn, right? Because I play three cards. I have one left, and I could get away with having a two-card turn next turn, probably. Play more presents. Uh, enticing Splendor is range zero. No Blight.
Just notice there's three blog on the blight card when there should be two. Uh, yep, yeah, that's correct, Seamus. The scenario says, I mean, this is a typo here. You should leave two blight per player plus one on it, like a normal game setup. Um, oh, I guess that's if it's on the blighted side. Uh, it should return the rest of the blight card. Actually, I don't know what happens. It would just, like, leave it, but it restocked it. Yeah, that might be an issue, actually. So it wasn't supposed to restock it, I guess, is the issue. It should have stayed at whatever it was. If it's healthy. I'll take it, but I think, yeah, you're probably right there. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go reclaim one. The question is where to put the presents. If we're playing, we don't have to play Enticing Splendor. If we don't want. Sudden Ambush doesn't actually stop a build there. Yeah, there should be only one in on the card. I mean, Sudden Ambush is expensive for what it does. So I'm not super, like, keen on using it. I could gather this guy away in case the event, like, does something bad with him. I'll probably do that. Um, so I guess I need a presence here, then, to gather him here. I mean, it doesn't have to be here, but that's where I would. I think. No, I wouldn't because I don't want them to... Because it's going to be this jungle where they would explore if they're going to explore. But they wouldn't explore that mountain, so... Uh, so... We probably want Words of Warning for next turn. Oh, wait. We're going to play Enticing Splendor and Manifestations and probably not Sudden Ambush. This can make sure we have what we need for voice of for uh, manifestations. Let's see what we get here. Oh, we don't have an animal. We need probably want an, rather have an animal. So savage mob beasts it is. Save some energy for next turn. We could probably do manifestations again. We save the energy. Get some Daha movement there, and we get a town destroy, so. All right, so I'm gonna bring him here. We probably could have managed for that to not blight too, by the way. But I'm okay with it happening. I think we're doing stronger things. Plus one health. Annoying. Each beast destroyed an explorer. There aren't one. Add a, a Dahan to a coastal land with Dahan. Well, how about here where we're going to blow them up? A fear card. Push one town into a land with more than the land it came from. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't affect the build here. It does make it one less defense. So, and we're killing them all in here. So, may as well go there. Add strife. Man, like, it, it, the game is just like, hey, you know, you don't have to actually blight this land, remember? <laughs> it's happening. It's giving me so many options. Uh, I'm doing like enough damage to destroy everything in here, even if they escalate. So I guess it's this explorer gets strife because he's the only thing that's going to be around. 
even then I'll probably kill him with mob beasts. Uh, click a land to build it. This one. I mean, maybe they won't be all dead because of the plus one health, but we're going to do our best. Gather two. Look, we've got 15 damage here. Four, seven, ten, eleven, twelve. So we could spare one to Han to leave. We can also just blow up the towns with the Dahan. I think I'll send one Dahan. I mean, I'm not doing anything else with. Just trying to think of what I want to do. If I gather the warriors, come along. If I leave the furious, and like, basically I want to like do leave the furious now in the middle of this. <laughs> uh, but I can't quite do that. Oh yeah, I can't do savage mob beast damage in the mountain, can I? Um, if I leave one town here, I need to do four, seven, eight damage. Which is not easy. I mean, I can send two to Han away, right? And that does nine damage. So I want to get set up to blow up this land. If the Furious kill one, Manifestations kills everything else. Yeah, the highest wave, uh, bug report, wave number does not display well with double digit. Have you got, show me, show me the screenshot, Lude. You can get up to wave 12 with French and Claw and Promo Pack 1 right now. I have not done that. I mean, I've done, I've gotten up with, I have testing buttons to go up higher. I guess we're killing this guy. All right, we can sudden ambush this guy, but he is still gonna build. He, meaning he and his friends. We can, words of warning here and start getting in to blow this up or we could just do a full reclaim if we full reclaim then we don't have a ton of energy i would love to have manifestations in here though that would be great i have enticing splendor which won't work but maybe we can do some blight removal Is it reclaim? Is it not reclaim? It's kind of a quiet moment here. Especially if we can manage to... I don't think we don't have cards to manage to destroy this town fast because that would let us stop this build, which would be really cool. I guess if we enticing splendor the town away and kill this guy, they won't build. Which would mean we'd have to enticing splendor him into here, <laughs> which is not great. So I don't like that. I don't like that. If we gain power cards, we obviously have tons of options. We could find a free defend card. We could words it. We could blow up everything in there. A 
be pretty decent. We might find a fast power that does let us stop this build. And then they just have a non-none build ravage. I think that's probably, despite growing being great, we have more options if we take this. Guardian Spirits. We could Enticing Splendor, except we it's range zero. Can't really get a Sacred Sight into there this turn. Call of the Hanways is, of course, fun times. We also have a fear card coming up. We could get another fear card with this. I think Call of the Hanways is pretty solid for Thunderspeaker. Doesn't solve any problems this turn. None of those cards do, though. Veil the Night's Hunt. Nature's Resilience. That is a defend card, but it's not cheaper. It is, in fact, the same price. Also lets us remove Blight, which is nice. Pushing three to Han is nice. Defend two, but not destroying. Adding wilds is, or, yeah, wilds is nice. So yeah, these cards didn't really change what we're doing, did they? So if we do words of warning and manifestation, they still build here. Like I wanted a fast card that would let me stop this help me stop this build but I don't think like we didn't find that so I guess fast blight removal with enticing splendor but there's still there's still yeah it needs to be into this land I guess this is a bigger defend right so this plus enticing splendor plus sudden ambush does that work Defend six, because, I mean, words of warning, actually, defend three is enough. Oh, but it's also, we don't have Dahan, we don't have Dahan there. We can't, it's range zero, we aren't there. So actually, not nature's resilience. The last card had an option to move Dahan in the fast phase. Veil. Splendor. But then we don't kill this guy, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> we need we need four things, and we only have three plays. I think is the problem. Because we need to def put the defend in there. We don't need to, but we want to. They are going to be exploring jungle, sands, or wetlands. So if it's sands, we can stop that, and that blowing up everything in here would be really good with the manifestations. So yeah, I guess it's words of warning Unless we want that blight removal option. I mean, I don't particularly care about these cards in general. Veil the Night's Hunt is like fine. It's handy with what I do. You can always reclaim words of warning too when, if we need it, so. So that and manifestation, we're just gonna let them build here and defend it next turn or whatever, I guess. And then some other card.
Voice of Thunder to make sure we can get Dahan where we need. We don't need any particular elements. Actually, Voice of Thunder helps us get Dahan into here for Lead the Furious and just take out the town and don't worry about defending next turn, so. That works. Water. We can ease the drought by forgetting Call of the Han Ways. That seems fine. We get to add presents. That gets us an air, so we can use things in the fast phase. That would have solved that, except the fast phase is over, so it doesn't do anything, but it's exciting. I think I'll take the air. And I think I'll get more presents back here. Oh, and the beast killed that guy, but they're still building, as we discussed. At strife. Well, this guy's not doing anything anyways, right? The event didn't, like, change anything else. So, sure, city can have strife so he's easier to kill explore the sands after all well we are coming to visit friends uh, what do we have in here two Four, six, seven, eight health. So we don't need everyone there, but we kind of have like lots of Dahan <laughs> to do things with. I think you just win. Maybe. Seems okay. I think we just blow everything up here. And we gather the warriors and lead the furriest assault. How are we doing? 9.30. And... We're finishing up this wave. Finish pushing. So there's two blight on the blight card. So there should be. Um, and then because of the thing, it's the wave number per player. So four blight stays on the island. So there should still be two on the blight card in the next game, not three. So we can verify that that is a bug. All right, the outcome is I won wave three. Time for a new prediction. Will I win wave four? The prediction is live. Make your bets. The fourth wave. There are more towns, another extra town. The Closer to coast shift uh, is reduced to minus one, and four blight is left on the board. It's going to be, I didn't actually take a major power, so I have to pick something from this. I guess it's manifestations, right? That's pretty good. Could be fun. And we have to send our Dahan. We have less Dahan now, somehow. Manifestations is not good. Well, it's too late, Frenzy. Especially if I'm playing Ocean, it's not good. <laughs> no, 96% say I'm not going to win. <laughs> I think that's a, probably a decent bet when it's ocean on 
wave four, but you never know. England level three, high immigration is gonna be around uh, for half the game. It will do zero damage unless it's been patched. Oh, it's supposed to do like, it's supposed to act as if something, I don't know. Oh well, it's not like I used a set aside power yet frenzy. It probably hasn't been fixed. But I can't go back now. All right, Ocean's going to need a miracle here. So I'm going to put this in a land with a town. How about this one that has a bunch of garbage in it? Oh, great, wetlands. I guess I should have picked wetlands. So I can grasping tide them and get energy, but... They will still build. And I cannot swallow the land dwellers unless I go aggressively into adding presence this way. I could go swallow the land dwellers and call the deeps. But they're going to build a city. Dang, this is bad. <laughs> this seems real bad. I should have put presents up. Why didn't I put presents up here? That's where you should, on this board, you should put presents up here as ocean. Uh, that would be smart, wouldn't it? I mean, Grasping Tide, if it's a city and a town, defend for it should be enough. So that will at least help us with one of them. Um, I think we go with the sort of normal opening here just to get presence on the board we can push this town in, like we can still we can do that and get more energy and maybe take a major next turn and hopefully because you can get good majors with ocean right away because you get so much energy in single player with ocean. Like, I already just got two energy from explorers. Yes, build your towns. Explore your jungle where I can't get you. Drown a town, also push a town. Well, I'm doing both. I just wanted the energy from Tidal Boon. I guess land dwellers would have done something, but I didn't know. All right, we have six energy. We're taking a major and we're forgetting like call the deeps because that doesn't do anything against England. Tsunami, okay. Also Twisted Flowers is back. Doesn't remove invaders just yet. I can't get that threshold for a while, but I can probably play it like all the time. It's just the rest of the island that I can't get to. <laughs> this is pretty good, Twisted Flowers, because I can get range one of most of the island, except this land. Smothering infestation doesn't seem to do enough. It's also range zero, which is not good for me. Usually I don't bother with tsunami with ocean because like, and actually I wouldn't be able to play it this turn, but I could play this and strife the city here. It's four fear. That's a fear card. Let's take that. I feel like Tidal Boon can go. Do I 
I want card plays. I mean, I can take card plays. I just need to gain more cards. I like elements, though. Let's make a sacred site here. I don't know if I want to be here yet. I mean, I can, I guess that's where I would throw my defend. I'll still have a sacred site no matter what, so. All right, Grasping Tide. Give me a fear card. Hope it's good. Aided by air. I have an air card in there that I could forget for Weave Lies. Add a town to a land without one. Well, there almost isn't a land <laughs> without a town. I don't mind adding a town. But accelerating the invader deck is not great. Each town city does plus one damage. Well, that would ruin that. I guess we're ignoring. Seems bad. We're going to do it. We could just add a town here. We can reach that one. Let's do that. Add. Oh, we can add stop them from exploring into like the back corner here maybe this one with disease or sorry with blight explore does not affect coastal lands yeah i don't have any other damage so i think i have to take out the town a blight Oh, yeah, so the Blight card had too much Blight. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, and then also high immigration. Drown a town. Add Strife. If I add a Strife to a city here, does that actually matter? I guess it might. I mean, that is just happening. Is the terror level going to be... No, it's not going to be high enough to remove invaders. I'm still going to strafe this city because... Maybe... I can defend six. Uh, if I... Do this and get lucky. Or if I... Do this and reclaim, I could defend three. Or four. But it's six damage right now. I have to get a card that does it. But I could get a card that helps along with my other card, right? So. It's not adding presence. But it is gathering one. Let's take a minor power. Defend two. I mean, that'll do it. Also, gather an ex a town into the ocean will do it, too. So, that's even better. Hey, lure of the unknown into the ocean. Uh, we can gather this presence in case it gets blown up, I guess. Uh, Grasping Tide, Lure of the Unknown. Wish I had Dahan there, but do not. So now it's just attacking for four. No Cascade, that's the important thing. And we get an extra Fear card. I think we're going for a Fear victory here. <laughs> it's the only thing we can really try to do. <laughs> Add a town to a land. Great. Man, seriously. 
Why is the island healthy? Uh, well, it's not going to be here. I guess it's going to be one of these. Oh, also disease. One damage per Dahan. Okay. I mean, that kills this town. That seems like the best place. Did it just do anything else? Energy. Adding. Disease. I guess I should have put the disease somewhere else because they're going to build a bunch of stuff. Too late now. Add strife to a town. Minus one health per strife. Uh, I guess there's a chance that we defend this. That's kind of... That's happening. <clears throat> Remove a town slash explorer from an inland land. Sure. Better to not have as much stuff in this jungle that's impossible for me to reach, so... No cascade. So many buildings. Need to get that fear machine going. All right, Twisted Flowers now does work. But that is a lot. 10 damage right now, including the strife on that town. Uh, seven damage here. Seems more. But then when this cascades, it, like, quadruple cascades. Like, we can't have that, right? We have to try to find a major that can defend this. I think. Like, defend three is not enough. We need, like, defend 20. Or we need, like, delete invaders. <laughs> Uh, I think that's what we got to do. Or, like, we need something. We need a major that can save us here. There it is. Indomitable Claim. I mean, that's the only thing that will do it. So there it is. Uh, I do like Lure of the Unknown. I do like Grasping Tide. Call of Deeps just doesn't do enough. Swallow the Land Dwellers also doesn't do anything. I mean, it would let me drown a town here. And here. Also, I'm... Oh, I could forget Twisted Flowers. It's true. They're not ravaging anywhere where Grasping Tide helps, so that's going to be it. And Domino Claimed is just so much better, so. All right, let's... Do we want one more energy? I don't think we need one more energy. I want to get more card plays and always be drowning. Uh, this is the Coastal. Yeah, we're playing Swallow Land Dwellers and Claim. So I guess we want to have Presence here. We're going to be putting Presence there with Claim. So we can just make a Sacred Site. We can make a double Sacred Site here because it's going to get Blight. Okay. Oh, we get to drown an extra town. So yeah, we have lots of things to drown, so I'm not worried about that. And we get more card plays. We can reclaim and play more cards next turn. Lure the unknown. Yeah, we have enough cheap cards, and maybe we can drown enough to get Major Town. 
Plus one health. Sure. East Beast destroys an explorer. Don make babies. Aid from lesser spirits. Only two blight per player. So there is a rule where you can decide not to have this blight card, but that's not implemented yet. So I just have to deal with it. Remove a blight. That might be a good idea. Fire in the sky is also really good, though. Because we can strife that towns that happen here. Yeah, we're not removing blight. We're going for the fear victory. We just gotta keep going. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's bad. Everything is bad. England's almost winning here. There's six buildings. So we better deal with that. I guess I get more energy if I do that here. Did I get to play Fire in the Sky? Oh, I just always have to get to have it. Right, that's a thing. What was the other one? I could have used it this turn. I mean, having Fire in the Sky every turn seems good. <laughs> uh, this is the Blight card. Oh, the rule about the Blight card is in the... Uh, Branch and Claw rule book that says if you're playing solo and you get a blight card that says two blight per player, you can choose a different blight card. It's even in the help. It's just not implemented. I don't know where that is. Where's that page? Is it here? There's a, there's a, Somewhere there's a thing about playing one player. I don't know where it is. Uh, it's in there somewhere. So this is something. Right, but with, with our bonus fire in the sky, we can deal with one of those and Donald will claim we can deal with the other one. Always be claiming, <laughs> I guess. Uh, except if they explore, no, they, they won't build again in the wetlands, so they might escalate, but we won't lose probably maybe. Gather, I need to keep a sacred site here. Oh, well, let's get a power first. Uh, I guess a minor. Defend 10. Reminder. Raid? Oh, I don't know. Push towns into the ocean? All right, claim probably because we can't have more blight happening. And root biters is free and lets us drown two towns. That's nice. And lure the unknown lets us drown in the fast phase. Except elements though, right? We should get a water. Yeah. Twitch raid. One fear. I can add a Donald claim into an inland land so I can get near this jungle. Amazing. Oh, except it said we got the, the threshold, so we don't have to use the threshold. Three fear, though. 
I'm kind of okay with that versus the Ravage having the three fear. Because we get another fear card and we're trying to get a fear victory, so. And add a stripe to that guy. When ravaging, invaders do plus three damage and lands with three or more invaders. Well, good, they're not doing that. That seems terrifying. Choose a land with disease, two damage to invaders, and two damage to Dahan. I guess it's this one. And one fear per land with invaders where they outnumber town cities, which is just that. But hey, free fear. Add strife in a land with Dahan. Uh... Well, that doesn't matter there, because we're killing the town anyways, so I guess we just add strife for here for later. Gather up to two Dahan and one damage if Dahan are present. Well, that would let us kill this town. All Dahan must gather in the center. <laughs> I mean, we don't need to gather the Dawn. Uh, each town destroys Explorer. No Explorers left. All right. Somehow we managed the Inland Ravage. Indominable Claim is doing work for us here. Also accelerating our presence is nice. Yeah, Double Claim is going to happen here. That's for sure. And maybe also here. I don't know. We need both. <laughs> uh, okay. So we have these two towns. This is like the worst land though, right? Like there's so many buildings in it that can't happen. I guess we're dealing... We only have town drowning so it's that and then it's over here so three there's so many cities <laughs> it's terrifying <laughs> we're almost to terra level three where we win if there's zero cities excellent uh so we need oh man this ravage is so pitiful but it's also so bad with the cascading can i get that town out of there i can get the town into here with Lord of the Unknown, I don't have to use Claim this turn. All right. So I don't have to reclaim this turn. I can gain another major. And also I have access to Manifestation of Power and Glory, which is supposed to not work. So we'll find out, I guess. So what I can do is lure the Unknown this town away. We get Strife on here from Fire in the Sky. We play Twisted Flowers um, somewhere. And we play Call the Deeps for an energy, I guess. Uh, all right. And maybe Manifestations works. It will still give a fear. OK. <laughs> In theory, it would destroy the town that I put here, right? So so what I think I want to do is do this, gain a major power, add blight. No, that's not going to be good. Uh, for each strife slash blight, one fear and two damage. If it adds, destroys all invaders, add blight, add beast. Add strife in three adjacent lands. I don't think I'm going to have... Oh, actually, I have so much fire. And I have so much moon. Not enough. I'm one... One moon short. Oh, no, I'm not. Grant hatred, right? That is strife party. Where would I use it? Here? 
or here, I could add strife with fire in the sky. Well, no, I'm going to add strife here with fire in the sky, I guess. But I can add strife with twisted flowers. And then add strife like in adjacent lands. I don't know. Seems seems good. There's also instruments of their own ruin is really good. If this didn't add blight, instruments is greater than hatred. But I have the threshold on hatred, which gets me strife added all over the place. Instruments would let me add strife and then it's like fast damage. Threshold greater than no threshold. Okay. <laughs> All right. I think it's Swallow the Land Dwellers. Root Fighters is super good for the coast here. They're not, there's not many towns left anyways. Um, we wanna, We don't need to play five cards. We can play... We can get one energy. We don't need energy. We'll reclaim, so we want to play five cards later. So let's add presents into this land. And let's get a sacred site there, too. Because I'm pretty sure I have threshold on that. I don't have threshold on that. I'm short one plant, which is unfortunate. And we'll play the set aside power. Doesn't get us elements, but uh, it does work. Uh, okay, so lure the unknown stops that. Fire in the sky stops that. This gets us a single fear. No cities, eh? There's only seven cities on the board uh call the deeps can get us an energy why not and time for an event perform a rival step for one terrain not shown under any action well okay so that could be mountain except we literally just put the town there or it could be wetlands which would be game ending I mean, both would be game ending, so we have to destroy presence. Uh, I guess I just destroy the presence in the ocean because I have sacred sites on land. Beer cards, level three, add strife to an invader, minus one health per strife. So we are going to be doing strife things. Grand Hatred is. For each strife slash blight in target land, one fear and two damage. I can indomitable claim here, and I kind of want to versus novel claim here. So I'm going to put it in here. Actually, this just removes the invaders, though, from that land. So, like, <laughs> they're just going to be gone. So maybe this should go in, like, one of these lands. I mean, if we're going to do it, we should do it in this land then. Then we don't even need to use a notable claim. So let's put it in here. Should a different land with town cities gather one, then two damage per Dahan there. Okay. This guy's dead already. I don't want to gather the Dahan away. I guess I pick this land and gather this Dahan. Oh, actually, I can pick this land and gather this Dahan to destroy the town. Or I could bring a Dahan into here, but I don't think I need to. Sands slash wetlands.
All right. So I was thinking of twisted flowers. Here. I guess adding strife in adjacent lands is kind of nice there, too. I was going to, like, grant hatred here, which would do four damage. It would not destroy all... Well, we can do manifestations. That should destroy this, the town here, right? By either logic of, like, whether your presence... Your presence should be a sacred site here. That's how it works. There should be a sacred site for Thunderspeaker. So it would be four damage. Or if it was counting Ocean's Presence, it would be two damage. But there's no damage. So I think Frenzy already reported that, so I don't need to report the bug. But it's a fear. It's a fear. So I think using this here just like completely clears the land. Using this lets us add strife into those wetlands. Yeah, it should be four damage. If you reported it already, then I don't need to. The problem is Twisted Flowers down here does not, and actually I can't reach that with Twisted Flowers, so that kind of like chooses it for me already. Add a strife to the town. Remove the cities. That land's taken care of for the ravage. And actually, I could just drown the town. There's no other town to drown. Uh, and grant hatred. I mean, it makes sense to use it here. Even though, I mean, we could indomitable claim there. do it here for damage uh, yeah I mean we could leave the city but the city only takes two damage to kill so we have claim it is a bug that you got two energy for a one health due to strife town uh, no it is not oceans special rule says ignore modifiers to invader health All right, I'm going to add a strife to that. And I guess to each of these explorers. All right, let us reclaim cards. And... I must gather presence. So, I guess first we gain a power. I think I take a minor because I have five card plays and not enough cards to play. <laughs> Steam vents. Call to tend. Remove blight. Land without blight. There's only a couple on the board. I guess it's call to tend. <laughs> Seems like we might want to do that. Could also destroy a town fast. Because we have a lot of mountain. But I don't know that we want that. Let's take call to tend. Uh, we lost some sunshine. I th no, we do have a sunshine. So we could get fire in the sky. Or sorry, we could get indomitable. We could just fire in the sky this. Except we don't have a sacred site one away but so we could claim here we just claim there um we need to be getting to the drown towns section of this card basically uh i think gathering this gives us sacred site range to whatever we need to have sacred site range so we play like our cheap cards with water 
and earth. Yeah, basically I can I can play like all my cheap cards and one major. Unless there's nowhere I can lure this guy. I guess I could call the deeps this guy and then lure the town away. So I could avoid Indomitable Claim, but I mean, Indomitable Claim getting presence inland is really good for me. Actually getting a sacred site here is even better than putting one presence there, I think. That gets us Drown a City, gets us a little more fear. Let's see. So, I mean, obviously, I don't have the threshold on that because I didn't play enough, enough, I don't have enough earth. So, I guess we just do that, right? We strafe something else. We get three fear cards coming up. We need we need one more fear to win. Okay, so maybe we're okay. We just get fear and we win. Why are we even not paying attention to how we win? We win! <laughs> I won wave four. I could have waited until I could maybe remove blight. So we could decide but I think there's enough blight on the island that I'm not gonna do that, not gonna get to do that, right? So I'm just gonna win. Who knows what the event would do too, right? Choose outcome. I won. All right, it's time for wave five. Start prediction. Will I win wave five? I'm gonna keep going until I lose. Take that cities. There's seven cities. But Ocean is the fear maker. They flee the island as quickly as possible. 50 points. Almost to the 20K so you can join Spirit Island Saturday. Fifth wave, fifth wave. Adds four extra towns. No closer to coast shift at all. Uh, five blight left on the board from the prior game. Oh, and also we get to the this rule about the blight blighted side. So it flips back, but we know we get to know what the uh, the card is because it doesn't change. It'll still be eight from lesser spirits. And the game froze. Cool. I wonder if that's because of Aid for Lesser Spirits. Aid from Lesser Spirits. Well, no, we're, yeah, because we're going back, we're going back to choose to do the end of game thing. Yeah. All right, I need to make a report, but I can't get to the reporty thing. Uh, this is a crash that's happening in like my code, sort of. So it's my fault, uh, or it's related to a thing that I'm doing. So I'm curious what is happening. So I have to quit the game. And I have to maybe copy the player log. B 
because I lose the exception, but at least we had the save file. Freeze on starting wave five. And I will put in the exception that I got. A bunch of gobbledygook. Well, maybe I will not win wave five if I can't play wave five. We'll see. I will. I'll press go, and we'll see if it uh, if it works. Oh, there's no continue. <laughs> okay. I think it probably has to do with aid from lesser spirits. That's like the only like weird thing that was happening. Uh, let me just finish up this bug report while I have it in mind. Attach a file. Actually, I do have my files, so I can try loading that. I mean, I don't imagine it's going to work, though. Yeah, I, I don't see, I don't think it would work. So, at least I have a way to reproduce it and fix it. So, well, here, I can, I can put this in and we'll see that, uh, finish the game again. And it will, should crash the same way again. The invaders had weird vibes. They did not want to continue. Yes, I do look into things. Play? No, same. It's going to be the same same thing. But that means I can I can reproduce it and and look into it. All right. Well, I think I'm probably going to end then this stream since I can't continue my wave. We'll have to try that next time. Um, but yeah, Branch and Claw, coming soon. We've got Keeper of the Forbidden Wilds. Sharp Fangs Behind the Leaves. And tons of new power cards. Tons of new Blight cards, Spear cards, Event cards. No, no Invader cards, that's weird. And yeah, four new scenarios and one new adversary. So makes this screen nice and symmetrical for now. Uh, yeah, and there's that other bug Seamus mentioned about the healthy island blight number. Uh, we will take a look at that. Uh, but yeah, things are, uh, things are basically content complete now. Uh, we've got everything in there for testing and beta testing and we're basically working on uh bug fixes and polishing things up right now so uh we don't have a public release date yet but uh we are thinking about one so we are working hard to get branch and claw into your hands as soon as we can uh that's gonna do it for tonight though uh thanks as always for watching and tune into our other shows uh, on this channel throughout the week. I'm going to look and see if there's a raid we can raid. Let's click raid channel. Uh, let's see if anyone's playing Spirit Island. Polly's playing Spirit Island again. Let's see what she's up to. There's an ad break I need to watch. 
I have it muted now, but I guess you could hear it if you wanted to. The ad for TD. Looks like Keeper of the Forbidden Wilds. So, uh, cool. Let's send you back over to Poly People again. I will type it in this time. And uh, we will see you there. Get bonus hand lever points for following the raid. And I need to cancel the prediction since it didn't happen. So I'm gonna delete the pre delete the prediction, returning your points next time. All right, have a good night, everyone.